Burundians cast their votes in the presidential election amid tight security, but there's only one candidate to vote for, the incumbent. The polling stations are quiet, turnout low across the country. The lead-up was marred with political arrests, intimidation and violence. On the eve of the vote, eight more grenade attacks, police accusing the opposition of attempting to disrupt the polls. This one, thrown close to the office of the EU election observers, failed to explode, left lying by the street. We are scared. When you see this happening in a public place at election time, everyone fears. For those who vote, their fingers are dipped in ink to identify who's already been to the poll. These people try to wash the ink off in fear they may be identified as government supporters by the opposition. All opposition parties pulled out of the election, accusing the president's party of massive vote rigging in May's local elections. We just find that this is a, a dictatorship manner to say we, we go on with presidential elections when there is a deep crisis on the level of the politics. Since speaking to Al Jazeera, Rasa went into hiding, saying he feared for his life. Some suspect he may restart his fight against the government. For many, there's little to be done on election day. Shabani did not go and vote, saying there's no point. There is only one political party. There is nothing to choose between. Everyone has a right to vote, but many people didn't go. Results are expected on Tuesday. President Unkaran Ziza is sure to stay in power. But for many Burundians, this election left them without a voice and very unsure about their country's future. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Bujumbura.